Okay, everyone, this is uh, what I am calling episode 14.55. Uh, I wasn't going to do an update video because episode 15 was supposed to be a uh, pickup from where I left off before the uh, tragic thing happened with the plants. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the Max Bloom here. Let's make sure that white light's on, that way we can see it. So, anyways, uh, Max Bloom and High Bay here. I wanted to make an update video because I wanted to show you what's going on with the plants. Um, there is something going on with the clones here. Uh, as you can see under the Max Bloom, that plant looks absolutely fine. It looks really good, it's very healthy, it's growing well. I'm not seeing a single problem with it. I'm not seeing too much or too little nutrients. I'm not seeing any deficiencies. Um, uh, maybe down there in the bottom, maybe that's a little bit of blight, but it doesn't really look like it. Not, I think it just might be, um, I think they're just drying out because those were, that was the original, from the original cutting. Um, so anyways, these were both cuttings, okay? They're both clones from the same plant that was growing under the white light. And you can tell that there's a huge difference in, in what's going on here. These started out exactly the same. They looked the same as, and a matter of fact, you can see the picture I'm putting up here on the screen now. Um, both the plants looked almost identical. The roots were identical. They're healthy looking. And when I started it out, they were fine. And probably within the first week, I started noticing that the plant over here on this side under the white light, um, it started getting, I mean, it's growing a little bit, but in all fact, it's grown quite a bit since I, since I put it in here. But um, the way that it's growing is you see you got this uh, leaf edge curl all the leaves have a curl to an upward curl. Uh, I think they usually call that a physiological leaf curl, but there really isn't a, a known reason for that. Not specifically anyways. Because uh, I'm not really seeing, besides this first branch down here, that was the, the I think the first branch from the cutting, just like the one over there. Um, I'm not really seeing any kind of, any kind of real problem. Uh, I'm not seeing any kind of real blight. Uh, I mean, the only thing I can notice on this plant besides the, the leaf curling is on the leaves here, you can kind of see there is these little, little tiny brown spots. And I mean, maybe that's a blight. Uh, I'm not, not certain on that. And, and you know, all the leaves, even the new ones kind of have a little bit of it. And the, you know, the, and all, that could be a bacteria. I'm not, you know, I'm not actually certain on that, but the, the roots look okay. You know, they're white, there's no root rot. There's not a lot of roots on this one, but you know, the, the roots are good. Uh, over here, obviously this plant's gonna have a lot better looking roots just because there's more of them. I mean, physically they, they look the same, they're white and healthy, but there's more obviously because it's a bigger plant now. So yet again, I'm running into a problem with the experiment where I'm having a problem where I'm not getting consistency. And this could be attributed to clones um, because I'm gonna show you another plant here in a second and it looks identical to this one. And it's also under a white light. Let me bring you over to that one. Okay, so here is the other plant under these grow light strips. And this was supposed to be a backup plant in case something happened right off the bat. And I was gonna let it grow even if, even if I didn't need it, I was gonna have a third plant. But you can see that this plant is doing the exact same thing. I got some leaf edge curl, and I got the same kind of uh, brown, brown looking spots on them. And same thing in the lower leaves here are drying up. And same thing with the roots. There's there's not a whole lot of them. It's just a small amount of roots. And like I said, these were all cuttings from the same plant, and they looked exactly the same. And they were just as healthy when I when I put them in in the buckets. So that's uh, really weird to me. I don't know why both the plants being grown under the white lights. I, and again, I use my PAR meter to make sure that the intensity is the same on all the plants. Uh, so it's not an issue with intensity. 
it's not an issue with uh, aeration or root rot. So it could be a disease, it could be a fungal disease. Yeah, I really can't attribute it to being under a white light. I, it's just, that wouldn't make any sense. Uh, it's just a, probably just a coincidence that this plant is just under the white light too. But it could be a disease, you know, it's, it's a clone. So they're susceptible to the same diseases because they have the same genetics. So that, that's kind of a problem when you're growing clones is that, it, you know, just like the banana plants, the Cavendish banana that everybody eats from the grocery store you know, the only way that they can replicate that plant is by continuing to clone it and and all the plants have the same genetics across the whole entire region where they grow it and they're running into an issue with diseases because they become less resistant to diseases because the, um, in evolution, it just, um, that's what happens. If there's, if there's no evolution in the genetics, then they're gonna become more susceptible to diseases who, uh, or, or viruses or funguses or bacteria uh, they evolve and the plant will get infected with it and it has no more resistance to it. It, has, it cannot build up resistance to the changing bacterium. So that could be what's happening here with the clones is that these are just, they might have a disease now and they're, they're both basically, they both basically have the same disease simply because they have the same genetics or it could be being affected identically. So the plant under the max bloom, it maybe it just didn't get the disease and I'm just lucky with that one. I don't really know. Uh, this channel is called Growing Answers for a reason because I don't have the answers, but I will figure them out as I go along with the process and I will provide the information to you guys who watch the videos um, and hopefully it helps you along the way. So I just wanted to provide this update to kind of show what's going on, give a little explanation of my thoughts on it. Maybe you can provide your feedback as well based on what you've seen. It'd be helpful to me as well. Uh, so it looks like this experiment is on another downfall, but not to worry because I will not let that get me. We will continue with this. Thanks for watching.